Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. That's I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you. January 15th every year is a day set aside as the armed or annual Armed Forces Remembrance Day in commemoration of our fallen heroes who laid down their lives for the rest of us. It is also to show gratitude to the standing heroes who today make up the veteran community while acknowledging the effort of those still in service. However, this show of gratitude would translate to mere lip service if the welfare concerns of the veteran community is neglected. Take, for instance, the security department allowance. The security department allowance is that allowance paid to retiring soldiers to debar them from using the skills acquired while in service against the state. It is a global practice that got introduced into the Nigerian Armed Forces only recently. However, its implementation became segregative, excluding a huge chunk of about 90% of the veteran community for no cogent reasons, with the decision to pay only retirees of November 2017 to date. If the essence of the security department allowance is to debar veterans from using their skills against the state. Are we then saying those excluded do not possess such skills that could be hired by Boko Haram terrorists, Iswa, bandits, armed robbers, kidnappers, you mention it, and used against the Nigerian state? At times as this, when insecurity has become our national hallmark. Government must apply some wisdom in its dealings with the people. The minimum wage approved by the president in 2019 is yet to be availed the veteran community because the required consequential adjustment for its implementation is yet to be computed by the relevant authorities. This has resulted in 20 months of unpaid arrears are still counting. After all the prolonged stay in operational areas, the average veteran disengages eventually with one health challenge or the other, requiring continuous management. Unfortunately, his national health insurance scheme does not avail him 100% medical cover. Veterans with internal organ-related issues, such as heart, lungs, liver, kidney, etc., are not covered by the National Health Insurance Scheme. Even most of the drugs for the management of most of these ailments are hardly found in military pharmacies. Therefore, the financial brunt in meeting these medical challenges is often pushed to the veteran. Let's take a look at the medically boarded veterans and of course uh, some allowance deductions that were made in whatever their entitlements were or are. Medically boarded veterans are those personnel who disengaged from service on medical grounds. This category of men are statutorily entitled to some allowance based on the nature and gravity of such defects. Recently, this allowance had to be reduced by the authorities for some inadequately 
communicated reasons. The action has since brought untold hardship on the affected veterans, as it has become extremely difficult providing the financial succor and support such monies availed in meeting the demands of such health challenges. Lastly, has the military even been able to build a database for veterans with serious health challenges in facilitation of a tap on them? You are often just left on your own after disengagement from service. This isn't good enough. Neither does it qualify as adequate show of gratitude by a nation to its veteran community. We can do far better. Oh yes, we can. The January 15 annual ceremony should not be reduced to some symbolic ritual in which birds are released to either fly or not fly, and the dead heroes who can't talk back at us are praised while the welfare earnings and concerns of our living heroes who are busy protesting and agitating on the streets are never addressed. And the welfare of families of these same fallen heroes are often not, I mean, it's often not discussed. Serious matter. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, maybe Aisha should go first uh, so that we can then. Um... Yes, please. Yes, please. Um... Oh my goodness, you know, every day Nigeria breaks one's heart, uh, you just feel like weeping, and sometimes when you hear people are saying, oh, people should be patriotic, you wonder where that patriotism will come from. I mean, this is what those who have given their all to this nation, who have served this nation diligently, are facing right now. And in this trying period where we are facing so much insurgency, there's so much insecurity in the land, how do you expect those who are in active duty to give their all, knowing fully well that the nation is never That's there right. for you when 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 you leave the salaries you have been paid why they are even uh, on, on activity monies are being stolen from them the allowances are not being given to them soldiers have written repeatedly to the president about the hardship they are going through about the fact that the allowances are being paid. No, the president isn't even doing anything about it That's and i'm true. so glad that the that the that the pigeon could do what nigerians could <laughs> do <laughs> 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 okay Aisha. the pigeon Aisha, refused to fly <laughs> Aisha, i have to pause you there. In, 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 in some other parts of the world um, that 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 uh, hospital that an American president go to in Maryland is actually a military hospital. Right. Yes, mm. and that is the way it is in mm. several other parts yes. of the world. The military hospital the is top notch. Yes, and I learned that we used to have a good military hospital yeah. in Nigeria yeah. too. We allowed all those things to run down. Why the military stop. were governing us? Well, <laughs> incidentally, why the military were governing us? Everything. How are you so sure? <laughs> yes. I think so. I yes. know that the military hospital at Odobo used to be. I mean, they, I don't know the state they, of the place that Odobo in Ibadan used to be really All, all those hospitals. They didn't and have empathy. There is empathy. one at Ikoyi too. There's the, Ikoyi, the there's Yabadi. They're they all around. Have, Kaduna they had some they fantastic ones as well. They didn't have empathy. The yeah. money meant for those people were taken away by the people that were supposed to manage. How sad. Yes. So we, we, we need to think about this thing. Otherwise, people are not encouraged to want to serve their nation as they should. I must just chip in here that, look, even those in service today, are looking at the treatment you are meting out Correct. to those of us who are veterans out there. And so what next do you expect? Oh boy, prepare for your tomorrow. Mm. Yeah. Because nobody you, has time for you, you after you. Quickly, My trench. father is a veteran as well. Oh. And I, I can relate with a lot of things you, you talked about. That's good. I remember that I had this conversation, funny enough, this week with my mom, when she was talking about a time when a former president wanted to just pay off veterans. And then the lobbying started that you can't just pay them off and say, let them just be paid off. And then the lobbying continued until this present president came and, you know. Uh, you, you know, um, um, traveling through the airports in America, right. you know, consistently, consistently, not one airport, not mm. two, not three, consistently you hear them <coughs> announce over the public address system, mm. um, um, please Very watch nice. over your bags, be careful who you talk with, ensure that you are the ones that packed your bag yourself. And then, if you are one of our veterans and you are passing through our airport today, be sure that we appreciate you. It is yes. because of you yes. that we can talk safely. And if there is anything you need, 
please kindly let us know we're here. You know, especially so, the mm -hmm. single special general. treatment. Yes. And you see every president will talk about the veterans. Yes. Every American president will talk about the veterans. So Look proud at when, of their veterans. when that policeman uh, was uh, murdered in France. You saw how, you know, the, the bear ceremony, how Macron, you know, had his hand on the casket and, you know, observed. Emotional you know, event. Emotional. But here, our veterans will die and you don't even know what happened. Is it how they are buried. Is it die? You're talking about liberals. They are liberals. killed. They are the, killed. The limbs are let me, let me even the, tell you the, one the sad one. A friend of mine, we are at the airport, we are traveling, and all those uh, legion, they came with uh, cops begging for money at the airport. And then the guy said, look, my father died, you know, fighting for Nigeria. And you're collecting this money, you say it is for, for falling hero. And I have never received a cobble from this such money. So I won't put a cobble here. You know, so mm. you ask yourself, so to the extent that we have reduced fallen heroes to beggars at the airport, mm. we yes. have reduced our veterans yes. to what it is today. Go to MRS, their military mm. clinic. Those <laughs> days, it was, it was easy yeah. for you to say, oh, you're an outsider, you have a relation in, um, in the military, in the barracks, for yes. you to be referred to MRS. But today, even people, I have a friend who was at the war front was almost killed. He came back. He treated himself. Imagine. You know, we can go on making comments and talking about this really emotional uh, topic that our guest advocate has, has, has talked about today. But what we want to do is just prick your conscience enough to share your thoughts with us. For instance, Friday Ego, responding to Evans Ufeli's advocacy on wills, said, good education for those without legal foundation. And responding to Liberos' advocacy on insecurity, Obomale Dirisu says, the truth is the only medication we need to treat this dying nation. It's also good that the Northern Elders suddenly woke up from their deep slumber and began to talk. Nigeria is sinking. Only the wise can feel it. And thanks to Libo for always speaking to the powers. Mm. I'm sure he means you speaking mm -hmm. truth mm -hmm. you know, to mm -hmm. Uh, power. Follow us on social media platforms on Facebook, plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram at plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG. And now to catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plus TV Africa.com slash the advocate NG. I'm next after the break.